This morning, former President Trump's eldest son, Don Jr., returns to the witness stand, where he has tried to distance himself from financial statements that the judge has already determined fraudulently inflated his father's net worth by as much as $2 billion. Trump Jr. signed those documents, but told the judge he didn't work on them. The accountants worked on it. That's what we pay them to do, he testified. I have an obligation to listen to those who are expert, who have an expertise of these things. It echoed what Trump Jr. said in a sworn deposition. Do you have any understanding of how the statement of financial condition is compiled each year? I really have had almost no involvement in it. Okay. Like his brother, Eric Trump has also denied working on the statements that inflated his father's wealth. You know, I've done a lot to try and jog my memory, and I simply can't because I don't think I've ever had any involvement in the statement of financial condition, to the best of my knowledge. Eric Trump will also face questions about Seven Springs, a 200-acre estate in Westchester County with an appraised value of $30 million. New York Attorney General Letitia James said Trump's financial statements value the property at almost 10 times that much, $291 million, citing a conversation with Eric Trump.